live from the studio. Tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. We had yet another round of snow come through last night and now we're stuck with bitter cold temperatures across the state. I'll have more on the week ahead coming up in a little bit. Can I get? Plus, Devin has your national forecast. All that and more on this Tuesday, February 12th edition of Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. I'm now joined by Matt. How's it going, Jackson? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, is this your first time on the show this it is, semester? It is my first time this semester. I was on briefly before, um, but we'll see. Hopefully it's better this time. Yeah, well, I mean, you're doing great so far, man. Uh, we had another round of snow come through last night, and now we're stuck with these bitter cold temperatures. And here we got 12 degrees in Ames, 10 in Carroll, 15 in Des Moines, and you can see this Arctic high coming in from the northwest. That's going to bring some cold temperatures with the wind gusts with it from the northwest. So we're going to be stuck with that for the rest of the night and into tomorrow. But tomorrow it's going to warm up just a little bit. So I'll break down the week ahead coming up later in the show. Now it's time for tonight's weather story. On this day in 1990, strong southerly winds ahead of a cold front pushed temperatures to the 70s across portions of the southern and central Iowa, with seven stations reporting recorded highs for that date. The temperature reached 70 degrees Fahrenheit in Des Moines, making this the earliest date of the year on which such a reading has ever been recorded at that location. Half a dozen stations also reported high temperatures of 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and that was bested by readings in 71 in Albia, Fairfield, Indianola, and Ottumwa, 72 degrees Fahrenheit in Atlantic and Red Oak, and 73 in Kiyosakwa. And now here's Devin with a look at what's going around around the country. Early cold temperatures continue Fairly cold temperatures continue to pour in throughout the United States as we continue to have stuff pu pulling into the northeast, including cold temperatures and the snow system. I'm going to have more about this coming up after the break. Welcome back. Now here's Devin with a look at what's going on around the country. Thank you. We continue to have cold air pouring into the, to the central part of the United States where we have cold, we have cold Arctic air coming in at Bismarck at negative one degrees. And this continues throughout the, uh, over the next few days as we have the system that's slowly moving its way off to the east. Up here in the northeast, cold 19 degrees in Albany, a bit warmer in Pittsburgh up at 40, 45 degrees up in, the, up in the warm air. However, though, colder behind as we have 38 in uh, in Buffalo. Down to the south, a bit more steamy, nice 58 degrees in Montgomery, 58 also New Orleans as we also have 76 degrees in Miami. Pretty, pretty warm for this time of year. Heading out to the southwestern part of the United States, 73 in Vegas, 68 in, in Phoenix. Kind of colder up in the mountains as we have about, 50, about 34 degrees in Salt Lake City. And heading up to the northwest where we continue to have that snow piling into the Seattle area, 38 degrees up on the rebound from this from the snow that they've been having over the past several days. And then colder up into the uh, Montana area, we have negative two in Glasgow, Montana. So looking around the country right now, we have some clearing heading out into the central part of the United States where we're gonna have that cold air cool, we're gonna have clear skies that will help temperatures drop off a bit overnight. And then heading out into the northeastern part of the United States is where most of the action is, where we have snow continuing into the, uh, into the UP, into the central part of Michigan. And then we also have this, this front in the, in the eastern part of the United States that's slowly going to shift its way up to the northeast out into the New York, Albany area. So looking ahead, watch this and warnings around the, central, around the United States. We have a lot going on right now. First things first is, is that we have the uh, red flag warnings in Colorado and uh, New Mexico for higher fire potential. Then out in the, in the Pacific Northwest, we have a lot of stuff going on from flood warnings and hydrological advisories out in the central part of 
of, of California and then up in the northwest, we continue to have those winter storm warnings for all the snow that's, that's continued to piling up as we've been having colder than normal temperatures out in this part of the United, United States. And then looking here in the central part of the United States, we have this winter storm warning that's continuing out that's going to expire really soon as we have this system that's been pushing on out. The winds are starting to die out and generally a lot, a lot nicer. However, we do have a bit of wind chill advisories up in, up in uh, Montana where, we, where we're going to have that cold air come on in tonight. So looking ahead for the next several days, we, can in, we continue to have this, uh, this snow in um, Washington. And then we can also see that this, this low pressure is going to move its way out into the northeast over the next several days, heading out into Toronto. And then the system out in the north in the Pacific Northwest is going to push on out. However, though, we have the next major system that's continuing to affect the uh, northern parts of, um, of California as, as the system out to the east is, is pushing on is pushing its way out. And then heading on in towards Thursday and Friday, where we have this snow system that's, that's affecting the central part of the, affecting the uh, um, northern Great Lakes as, as the system will, will push its way on out. And then the southwest is continuing to have a lot more precipitation going, coming on into the next several days, then higher snow amounts in the higher elevations in the Sierra Nevada. So looking on ahead to the Pick City, which is going to be Augusta, we, we're going to have this, we're going to have some rain coming in Thursday and then cooling on out into your Thursday also. And then warming up Friday before coming out in the weekend and starting the next week, a lot cooler temperatures where we're going to have highs in the 20s. Thanks, Devin. Now let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. What is the average annual snowfall we find in Ames, Iowa per year? Is it 28 inches, 32 inches, 34 inches, or 36 inches? We'll have your answer coming up right after this. Now let's take a look at the week ahead with Matt. Well, like I said earlier, we had some snow in our region last night and it just pulled out. We have this winter storm warning that's in effect until 9 p.m. for uh, the central and eastern portion of the state. So stay tuned, I'll break down the week ahead for you coming back up in just a few minutes. So Devin, how about that snow we've been having recently? Yeah, we've been having a quite a bit, quite, quite a fair amount of snow. We've we've had about three inches from this previous system, and the system before that, we've had about about uh, another three inches. So we've had that melt earlier last week, but now we're we're having a lot more, a lot more snow. So roughly seasonable. So yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely making driving around Ames quite a bit harder. I think mm -hmm. the other day I was driving around and uh, I could barely see if I was in the middle of the road or the side of the road. So that's that's one big thing you know to make sure. Uh, mm -hmm. You look at when you're when you're when it's starting to snow like this around this time of year. Yeah, and then also the winds also make uh, driving driving conditions pretty uh, hazardous. So let's look at so let's yeah let's take it over to Matt <laughs> on tonight's uh, uh, Iowa weather. Well, thanks for that, guys. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, we do still have watches and uh, warnings and advisories in effect. We have in the blue here. This is a winter weather advisory. And then in the pink, this is a winter storm warning. Still from that storm yesterday and last night, that's the eastern and northeastern portion of the state that is going to diminish around 9 p.m. So here's the look at the live radar, this cyclone coming to an end. You can kind of see this flow as it's coming down from the northwest. Here comes that cold air for our region as these clouds push off to the east of the state. And here's that snow that is going to push on. And here I'll show you with the future cast. As that gets out of our area, we have some clear skies, and then here's some clouds that are going to come in tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be fairly cloudy for most of the day, clouds covering the entire state, but that is actually going to help out temperatures. Usually we've had this, you know, really cold Arctic air blast after these storms, but this time it's going to be a little different. Right now, 12 degrees in Ames, wind west-northwest, 23 miles per hour, and that is gusting up to 34 miles per hour, and that's why it feels so cold. It feels like negative 7 degrees out there right now and here's some temperatures across the state basically teens upper teens to the east and as you go to the northwest seven degrees in Spencer so that cold air is really starting to kind of pull in and here's how those wind chills factor in negative five now in Ames negative 12 degrees in Spencer so uh, yeah like I said earlier as you go up northwest you're going to get colder and colder and here's the a look at the winds 22 miles per hour tw in Ames 28 in Des Moines 24 up in Spencer. So basically mid-20s for most of the state is fairly gusty out there, but as you can see here out to the west, starting to calm down a little bit. And the winds are going to calm down for us 
around midnight. So here's how that wind chill is going to play out for you. Bottoming out around negative seven here in Ames, three in the morning, negative nine in Spencer, negative 14 up in Mason City. So it's gonna be a cold one. You might wanna bundle up, turn that heat on ex uh, the extra high tonight. And tomorrow at Wednesday, uh, this is tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning, zero degrees at Ames. We passed the freezing mark with the wind chill and it's going to be you know, a decent day tomorrow compared to what we have been dealing with after these storms in the past. No Arctic blast this time. And take a look at this Thursday. This is the wind chill, 31 degrees. So it's really going to heat up as we move forward in time and back down to four Thursday night. So basically, if we can just get through tonight, we should be smooth sailing for the next couple of days. Tonight is going to be cloudy, and it's going to bottom out around two degrees. Those winds are actually from the northwest, not the northeast. They're going to be about 22 to 25 miles per hour in the evening, diminishing to around 5 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. And tomorrow, it is going to heat up, to, I guess, to 31 degrees. Freezing rain possible in the afternoon. It's mostly going to be cloudy for most of the, most of the day, so don't be alarmed if a couple uh, freezing raindrops hit you on your way to class tomorrow. Here's a uh, look at the extended forecast for Ames. 25 Wednesday, 31 on Thursday, and then Friday it dips down to 10 degrees. Sunday is our next best snow chance. It doesn't look too crazy right now, but we may get a few inches out of that. And then Monday and Tuesday, back to your typical February pattern. Thanks, Matt. And I, for one, am looking forward to those uh, higher temperatures in the next few days. Now let's have another look at tonight's trivia question. What is the average annual snowfall in Ames, Iowa? Is it 28 inches, 32 inches, 34 inches, or 36 inches? Well, I do know that it snows quite a bit in Ames, especially, well, depending on some of the seasons. Some seasons we've had not a lot. Some seasons we've had a, quite a lot. I'm thinking 34 inches. 34? What do you know, you since we've been at college, I, I don't think we've seen more than, you know, 15, 20. So I'm going to go with 28 because I have yet to see over 30 inches in a in a year here at school, so. It's a low ball. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, we know we, know we have had some uh, average low uh, snowfall totals in the last few years. This mm -hmm. year is actually kicking it up quite a bit. It is. But yeah. uh, the answer to tonight's trivia question is actually B, 32 inches. Oh, okay. Right mm -hmm. in the middle of you two. Um, and I think that's, that's a pretty solid number from what we see. Um, yeah, and this year, mm -hmm. I think we far surpassed that, or we will in the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. I, think, uh, I don't think we've passed it yet, but you know, we've had so many three, four, five inch storms that just seem to just keep coming through the state. And if that, you know, if that pattern keeps mm -hmm. up, we're going to really exceed that by quite a bit, I think. Mm -hmm. I think we are actually uh, just passing it now. So, yeah. so yeah. about this time of year and, and what we got coming up is going to really, really pass uh, the average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how's that East Coast looking for this storm, Devin? Yeah, it's Not looking too good. Yeah, it's looking like a monstrosity, freezing rain possible in some areas along the snow. It's definitely making travel very treacherous. But hopefully by the weekend everything will clear on out. Things will will continue to improve up in the northeast and yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To all you folks in the northeast, stay safe. This is a, mm -hmm. a big time storm coming your way. So hunker down and you know just survive the next few days. Well, thanks for you guys for watching our tonight's show. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show on the YouTube under our Size Eyes channel. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you Thursday.